if you have a check engine light flashing and you cannot accelerate to the higher revs, there are three choices. Either you have engine damage, either you have knock sensor or wiring knock sensor problem, especially after a heavy rain or a car wash. This is what I'm going to talk in the video because Hyundai does not tell these things. Either the third thing, there is a false alarm from the same uh, knock sensor. I'm going to describe this a little at the end of the video. So you already know 2011, 2019, 2.4, 2.0 turbo, all engines may get damaged at some point, especially higher miles. Hyundai will replace this uh, and this will just uh, put you in limb mode. You bring it to the dealership. I have another video. Look in the comment section. Also, I'm going to put these technical bulletins in the comment section. Be sure to look at the first comment up there. Now, there is another very strange op uh, possibility is people that went through a car wash had check engine light flashing and uh, limp mode at the same time. And the second one is even without a car wash, all of a sudden the engine has this check engine light flashing. I repeat, it's flashing, it's not steady. And uh, you cannot accelerate past, past certain RPM. You bring it to Hyundai and they say the engine needs good. We did perform the test. They do certain mechanical tests on it, compression and so on. And it says engine is good, but we need to replace a knock sensor or they say we have no idea. So there's really two different things here. The knock sensor and the wiring to it can either get damaged from water or they can simply, basically what happens is this limb mode is trigger, triggered by the uh, knock sensor. It's a way Hyundai has installed it. It's a software and um, this sensor uh, must listen to a certain engine vibration, which is supposed to be when the engine goes bad. But on some cars, this sensor may may think he's, uh, he's uh, hearing this bad vibration when there is no vibration whatsoever, no bad vibration whatsoever. It appears, unfortunately, some cars the software that interprets this vibration, it really has a glitch or something like this. And there is really not much you can do about this. Uh, the only way would be to replace the uh, your uh, per perhaps the software into your uh, main computer ACM or replace the ACM altogether with a, with a new one, which is a crazy, crazy expensive. That's another way. So for these owners, there's not much you can do. It will happen again. But for some of these owners, if this happened after a car wash or after heavy rain, there was, and I repeat, was, because Hyundai did retire this, uh, discontinued this, uh, this uh, kind of recall campaign, recall actually service campaign. It was at some point Hyundai was saying the wiring to the knock sensor may get water into it. And that water will, will cause the sensor to hear wrong sounds and interpret them as a faulty engine. And there was a, uh, it's not, it wasn't a recall actually with service bulletin. Hyundai at some point, point started to replace as the owner brought the car into their, uh, for servicing, they started to replace this wiring to the sensor. I'm not sure if the sensor too, but just read through this uh, document. Uh, it's a long document. So they started to replace that wiring. And at some point they, they did stop replacing the wiring and the wiring, obviously it's still having this problem with water, but Hyundai, what they, what they uh, kind of choose to do is just wait for the engine to get damaged and replace the entire one damage because replacing the wiring, it's quite a job. So they didn't want to do this on all cars. It's kind of, they are just cheating basically. So if you have this problem, limp mode, flashing a check engine light after heavy rain, after car wash, obviously you can just perhaps keep doing car washes, wash your car at home or something, but heavy rain is not always possible to get around it. So maybe print these reports and bring them to Hyundai and have them replace that wiring on the sensor. 
I can say that once, from what I see on forums, once it happens and the wire gets dry, the car just check the uh, clear the code and the car keeps driving normally until the next rain or car wash. So um, uh, uh, this is one of the choices and the possibilities. The other possibility is uh, the uh, they cannot clear the code and at that moment maybe they need to replace the uh, the uh, knock sensor and perhaps the wiring as well. So if if you have an issue with this, just look through these papers, look in the comment section. Uh, I'll let you read a little bit, but it's very, very technical. I want to point out something here is this job may require a fuel pipe from the high pressure pump, fuel pump that sits on top of the engine. This is the secondary pump. It needs to replace. So if you happen, let me just see here. Okay. Uh, let me just go. Okay. So if you happen to have the manifold, intake manifold replaced for the knock sensor by an independent garage, it is absolutely critical to replace these parts, replace especially this fuel pipe at the pump. But I'll let, let you read the rest here and look, search on Google for this other uh, bullet in here. It is very important to replace this hose because it's a one single use hose. If you don't replace, if that mechanic independent the mechanic tries to put the hose back in place it will leak and you need to do the whole job all over again so critical here i don't want to repeat myself one more time replace and look in this bullet and what to replace when you re uh, remove the um the uh, manifold for replacing the knock sensor so uh, i'll let you also i'll put this other technical bullet in and the comment section this is about the engine inspection but what happens is okay i'll, I'll keep it short i'm not going to uh, stretch this video uh, longer than this i'm going to link you this comment uh, this actually thread in a forum and i suggest you go for this forum so i'm here on this forum there are um, technicians from uh, hyundai also that answer questions uh, if i have problems with your engine um, so this person had a car that went through car wash three times every single times he went into limbo check engine flushing she brought it to Hyundai and in the end Hyundai did replace that harness for the sensor and it went again to the car wash and it was fine this time. So like I said, it is either a bad knock, -knock, -knock sensor uh, that may happen without rain or it is a problem with the wiring and the knock sensor from rain. See if it uh, clears while uh, after it dr uh, dries up. And you clear the code or it can be a, a faulty alarm from the knock sensor uh, without engine damage or it can be a real engine damage so basically uh, the limp mode is triggered by this sensor it's just a sensor on the engine this sensor feels vibrations and it's this sensor that triggers uh, the software to put the engine in the limp mode for a good or a bad reason so again there are many many possibilities and this is the reason for this video so you are aware of all these possibilities you uh, just bring this service bulletin to hyundai and show them clearly what they have to do because often often and i repeat oftentimes hyundai will deny will say i we don't know what's happening and that's how they work it's not always uh, honesty up there uh, look in the comment section also for the video how uh, about the information about the uh, engine warranty replacement and look at this uh, this thread here this discussion as well uh, for uh, so you know how to deal with your situation right so pass the word and uh, come to us on forums and uh, just let us know about your issues thanks for watching